I'm Rosa Mendez, and I'm here at the number one Long Island broadcast, Monty Ferro. I have the best time ever. Hey, listen, Daddy. You're listening to the number one broadcast, Monty and Ferro, Daddy, in Long Island. The best pro wrestling broadcast of all time, I think. Jimmy, I got to tell you, man, it feels good to be back on YouTube. It was uh, quite disappointing what happened to us, but we bounced back pretty fairly quickly. Well, what, what else would we do? We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Well, speaking of that, man, yeah. we need more members. Okay. What do you think we need to do to get the people of those 5,000 subscribers to come on and, and join the team as a Monty and a Faro member? Nudity is out of the question. Any other ideas? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. But what I, I do have a few ideas. Well, just like Prell, they should tell two friends, and they can tell two friends, and so on and so on. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Check out all our content. But that's, you know what? That's why you're, you're the star of the show, because guess what? Members get special content. Even we spoke about it. Farrell came to me one day, and he goes, man, what's the deal? I can't even watch some of these videos because I'm not a member. And I said, there you go, Farrell. You got to be a member because this is what the members get. They get free content that nice. none of the other fans that watch this show get. That's right. You get free autographs from some of these wonderful stars that come in, right? Nice. All you do is you go to the MNP webpage, or, right, our own page, yeah. and shoot us an email and say, hey, man, I want a picture of... Tommy Rich, I want a picture of whatever. And boy, that's on its way. We give them their choice. That's right. We rock. We do rock. And you need to rock, too. Join. <laughs> I thought we were. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what's going on here. So, you guys are more into like the video games thing, but the one thing that seems to be a little more rampant is uh, you guys getting into relationships with mm. each other. Yeah. <laughs> um, have you been in any relationships with any wrestlers? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, not like real relationships, but the, yeah, especially the PC, it's a bubble. It's a true bubble. Like, and it's very high school. It's the only people you see ever right. really. And you all become friends and like, so you don't hang out with people outside of there cause you're, you're there with each other all day, every day. So it definitely becomes a big high school there. Hmm. So what man attracts Mila more? Like what, I don't know what man attracted you in high school, but as a wrestler, <laughs> did, did that change? Um, did you become more attracted to a certain type of man? Yeah, I think I always, I don't know, I'm always attracted to like the loud, annoying ones now. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the quiet ones I can't handle. Interesting. <laughs> you know? I can't handle yeah. that. Okay. All right. Well, how about the, the size? Like, so the men nowadays in wrestling mm -hmm. seem to be a bit smaller, right? Um, yeah. Not necessarily all WWE guys, right. but just in general mm -hmm. in wrestling. Are you into the bigger guys? And the reason I ask this, uh -huh. and again, I'm just asking, I don't know. We are just fans. I had read that you were involved in a relationship with Wardlow. <laughs> and Wardlow she looks surprised. obviously is the next, if Tony Khan doesn't jack it up, which yeah, he's already well, done and tried his best, a little bit. is the next big step. But he's right. a big, massive guy and has the look. And I don't know if you were in a relationship right. with him, so I'll ask, and you don't have to answer. <laughs> were you in a relationship? Are you in a late relationship with Wardlow? And is that the type of man that Mila Moore likes? Man. Uh, we weren't in, like, an actual relationship. <laughs> but we were very, like, flirty and, you know. Friendly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they, were, they were very friendly. But that's funny. I didn't know that was, like, out there. <laughs> out there. <laughs> I was shocked by that. You got me. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you got me on that. <laughs> there we go. I don't see you blushing, though. You are a pro. They taught you, you are, well you, in they promo have. class. They you, did. You can't, you can't blame no, you, you did well with that, that one. That is funny. I want to I go back to your parents, right? Um. Do you see yourself, I know he asked, going back to WWE, or is AEW uh, another venue that you're looking at that possibly getting into? Yeah, absolutely. I started training a lot with Jay Lethal, actually, out in um, Tampa, Florida. Um, so that's, yeah, something I'm very interested in. So tell into. Wardlow to put a word that's in. so funny. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Come on, Wardlow. So, Come on, Wardlow. Um, for the record, Wardlow actually has a girlfriend. Okay. Oh, so. shit. <laughs> All right. Listen, I whoa, said, I, whoa. Uh, you just caused the basic. I didn't cause it. You started. It's, I, I always cause, cause problems with that, so it's Sean, fine. It's Unbelievable. Well, who's better looking, you or his girlfriend? I think 
I think oh, come on. It's hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard by a mile. I don't even have to see you. The other one looks like a Wait foot. A I just got a message. Anyway. Wardlow just broke up with his girlfriend. There we go. <laughs> we're we're doing it again. How, how do you find a Jay Lethal? lethal